What's up, people? I am back. Sorry, I had a little hiatus there, but um, I got a little busy, if you didn't notice. Uh, I made a uh, study course, which is pretty awesome, secretstudyhacks.com, you should check that out. But that is not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is about an article I saw yesterday on Medscape, which said physicians now have the highest suicide rate of, um, I don't know, people working or something like that anyway and in addition to the highest suicide rate among physicians was psychiatrists had the highest which is a little bit interesting to me like you don't really think psychiatrists would have the highest suicide rate because you're like oh they sit in a office they do like nine to five well i don't really know what psychiatrists are. i'm making this up a little bit so less stress than like when you have somebody's uh you know, non-beating heart in your hand and you're trying to do, you know, cardiac, internal cardiac massage, manual cardiac massage. So you'd think that would be a higher stress level and thus th those people would have um, more suicide, like as a, you know, emergency, trauma, cardiac, cardiothoracic, things like that. But turns out, according to this article on Medscape, uh, it's psychiatrist. So a couple thoughts. First of all, my instinct is to say, no fucking way, that can't be true. Because we always think of psychiatrists as having a cushy job compared to surgeons. That, that's what surgeons do, is they think everybody has an easier job than themselves. But on second thought, this makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, the reason this makes a lot of sense to me is because I have, over the last few years, I've really kind of honed in on and embraced and understood more and more the fact that what goes in, like, you know, inputs your eyes, your ears, your brain, affects what comes out, or molds, I guess, what comes out. And in a sense of, if you hear something more, um, or you see something more, like, you'll act upon that more. And so in that sense, it makes complete perfect sense that psychiatrists would have a higher suicide rate because they're constantly hearing the problems of other people. And if you continuously have the problems of other people on your mind, then you're going to also think about problems. And you're going to go, I would think you would go into like this negative type of um, outlook on life or the world in general. I certainly know that when I have bad situations at work, I go there as well. Like I get not depressed, but well, I used to get depressed, uh, but not you know not depressed now. But I certainly it certainly affects your home life and it affects like how you think about everything. Does that make sense? So. Absolutely, psychiatrists probably have. I believe it. I believe it. After thinking about this a little bit, I believe that article that psychiatrists have the highest suicide rate. My second thought on this, when I started doing YouTube and Instagram and stuff, um, I got a little pushback, and every once in a while I get a little bit too. I got a, I got a message yesterday saying I'm an asshole uh, for something I can't remember what it was. At first, I was I was like devastated, right? I see these things and people were like you know what are you doing um, you're you're making the profession look bad you're making yourself look bad you're making the hospital look bad all this stuff and I thought I had to think about that for a second because I was like maybe I am man maybe I'm doing this stuff and it's for the wrong reasons and maybe maybe I'm looking making myself look bad and I gotta think about this but because of a lot of the other positive comments I got and most of them are like 95 plus percent of the comments I get are, are positive, which thank you guys very much. It's pretty amazing. That like fueled me and it was like, no, I'm doing the right thing. I got to keep doing this um, because it is helping a lot of people. And I mean, it's helping me too. Like I feel, I feel good about helping people. It's probably, you know, it's like one of the best things you can do. And I have another video on that too. By the way, it's coming, not yet. So I'm getting to the point here, hold on. Then I hear from people that are like, oh my, you know, 
um, I want to do this with school. Like, I want to go take the, these many classes, but my parents are telling me that I, I shouldn't take I shouldn't take that class, or I shouldn't do this, or shouldn't do that, or this is the way I should do it. And it's like, okay, are your parents like, are your parents doctors? This is, for instance, if somebody wants to be, uh, you know, they're undergraduate or they're in high school and they want to take certain classes, but their parents don't want them to take that, they want them to take something else. It's like, okay, are your parents doctors? Dude, were your parents successful in that sense? And it's like, no. So why are you listening to them? So that's where it started. And then I started thinking about who, like, how many people in the in the world are successful? Like, in a, successful, like, in a big fucking way. Like, blow it out, like, Steve Jobs, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, although I fucking hate Zuckerberg. People that have done, like, something significant. And then there's a, you know, there's a significant number of those people, but to take, think about the percentage of those people that actually, you know, for reals, like, went from nothing, built something themselves, like, blew it out, were amazing and they also like help other people doing shit not just like these you know fucking corporate douchebags so how many people are that how much what is the percentage of the of the world that's really going big and doing something amazing it's about two percent there's a couple books on this it's about two percent of the population in the entire world are really doing something extraordinary so then my question is to you why the f are you listening to the 98%? My mom told me this, my friends told me that, my cousin said this, my, everybody's telling me not to do that, blah, 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 blah. Fucking amazing? If they're not amazing, you give them the big fucking finger, middle finger. I mean, you could do it in your mind, you don't have to give them the middle finger right in their face because that causes some problems. But that's the point. You cannot listen to everybody. Matter of fact, you can't listen to almost anybody. 2% of the population you should probably be listening to. If you want to be a doctor and you are listening to every doctor that tells you what to do, you're going the wrong way. You can't listen to the majority of people because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Now, you're probably thinking, do I know what the fuck I'm doing telling you guys this? Well, I can't say that I've blown it out. like. But I'm doing better. Like every week is awesome and it's getting better. Uh, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Now you may think that, you know, my style is not for you, something like that. That's okay. Uh, but I would say to to find the 2%, whatever, whatever it is you want to do, find the 2% of people that you do need to listen to. Like fuck everybody else. You need to filter all that shit coming in. And don't be a psychiatrist. They just let anything in. They just listen to it all and then they try and help somebody. Fuck that. You ain't got time for that shit. You wanna find the people, because that's the hard part. Finding the 2% that you do need to listen to is what you need to do. The 98%, like you're just gonna be like all fucking day long, they're gonna be coming at you and you just like filter it out. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Like every day when somebody's talking to me and they're telling me something to do, I'm like, Matter doesn't matter. This is what I do in surgery. I go see a patient. Sick, not sick. Surgery, not surgery. Okay, those are the basics. This is what I need to figure out first. What you need to figure out first is listen, not listen. And then when you do find a somebody that you're like, oh, I need to listen to this person, then pay more attention and go after that. And then find more people like that. I feel like that was a pretty good video. I've been wanting to talk about that for a while. Well, you guys, if you like stuff like that, then guess what? I have a course, it's called secretstudyhacks.com. It's where I kind of talk about this, these type of things, but in a sense, like to help you study. And if you like these videos, you should definitely subscribe, like, share, comment. Comment is the best. I love when you guys comment. So do that. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'll put the link below. Go check it out.